welcome to the latest edition of Career Videos by the Knowledge Academy. Our today's video is about what is Microsoft Azure DevOps. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon next to it so that you would never miss out on any of the informative content that we put out. So without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this video. Initially, we will be going through what's Microsoft Azure DevOps. Then we'll see why it's used. Then we'll go on to see the DevOps server. After which, we'll go through the job salary overview. What's Azure DevOps? We all know that Microsoft Azure's plays in the cloud computing. It's the second largest cloud service in the world, a strong competitor to the AWS, and pretty much aware of its services too. Coming on to the DevOps, you all know it as well as DevOps culture is sit together and work on it as it integrates the developer and the operations professionals. DevOps is the mindset about how you will take the project forward from the development phase to the production. What happens on merging a cloud service with working ways? What is Azure DevOps? Let's find out. The set of Azure clouds hosted on DevOps is Azure DevOps. These services can work in any language and target any platform. Everything you need is to turn an idea into a working piece of software. Like, you can play your project with tools, manage your test plans from the web, version your code using JIT, and deploy solutions to do an incredible cross-platform for the CI-CD systems. And all these are getting done with a full traceability and visibility across your development act. So more technically, the software service or the SaaS platform from the Microsoft is called Azure DevOps. As it creates and deploys the softwares using the DevOps tool chain, it also connects with the tools widely used on the market as it organizes and manages the DevOps tool chain. Azure DevOps is the good fit for the clients of whatever cloud, platform, or language they follow. Azure DevOps is not a newcomer to the DevOps scene despite its October 2018 launch. It dates back to 2006 release of the Visual Studio Team system. Over 80,000 Microsoft internal users utilize this well-developed application features. Why it's used? Azure DevOps service is a cloud service that offers a hosted service that is scalable, reliable, and accessible from anywhere in the world. It is supported by almost 99.9% .9 of the service level agreements, globally available at all data centers, and constantly tracked by operation staff. Currently, Azure DevOps Services enables all software enterprises to launch from the scratch. To begin with, all that is needed is a free account. Also, the company prefers the TFS or an on-premise DevOps server. So you must be aware of the services provided by the Azure DevOps services before migrating as it consumes time, money, and energy. Azure DevOps offers a wide range of services as it is in the need of the hour. Following are the tools and services of Azure DevOps. Azure Boards. Azure Boards are agile planning, task tracking, visualization, and reporting tool. Work tracking is ensured by the Azure boards, which also allows you to work with the backlogs and custom reports. Azure Pipeline. Azure Pipeline is a CI CD platform supported by the Kubernetes or container, and it is independent of languages, platforms, and clouds. The Azure platform supports a pipeline where you can constantly develop test, and deploy apps. This is why everyone likes the Azure DevOps as it is flexible, adaptable to use in tools like Ansible, Chef, Puppet, and Terraform. Azure Repos Private Git sources are hosted in the cloud by Azure Repos. There are infinite cloud-hosted private Git repositories to pull, push, and commit your changes in storage. Azure Test Planning 
Azure test plans offer integrated planning and exploratory testing, that is, testing performed to examine software by testers, developers, and product owners, UX teams, and others without using test plans, test suits, or test cases. By testing your code, you can enhance its quality. These codes can be tested in both manual and exploratory test ways using the Azure test plans. You can also request, provide, and track feedback. To ensure better software functioning, tests are continuously performed using continuous testing. DevOps Server Azure DevOps Server is constructed with a SQL service backend. Customers generally prefer the on-premise version when they need their data on their network. The SQL Server reporting the services interact with Azure DevOps Server tools and data whenever required. By using open standards like the REST API and the OAuth 2.0, users can integrate their required and desired tools and services with the Azure DevOps Server. The Azure DevOps Server Express is free for a single to part of five developers, as individual developers or teams of five or fewer at no cost. It's easy to install on your PC or laptop without the need for a dedicated server. Access to new features. Azure DevOps offers robust and more potent tools to the DevOps teams. Microsoft is transparent to its users, as they release new features every three weeks. Upgrading is no longer a concern. Upgrading is quite challenging as you need to revamp with the tool sets. Firms using on-premise CI CD tooling no longer need to worry about their upgrading as Azure DevOps is a SaaS product. Reliable Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is reliable as it has 24-7 backup, scalable, and open to the entire cloud. Flexibility of Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is not only user-friendly, they are also flexible. As a user, you can also purchase the required set of services or individual services or the whole suite of services based on the requirement. Platform and Cloud Agnostic Azure DevOps Azure DevOps can run on any language and operating systems like Android, Python, Node.js, C or C++, Java, .NET, Ruby, PHP, and iOS apps. Azure DevOps functions on clouds like AWS and GCP. Job Salary Overview Now let's go through some of the job salary overviews for the Azure DevOps Certified Professionals. As we can see, the beginner DevOps engineer makes about 86,000 pounds. Intermediate DevOps engineer makes about 114,000 pounds. And an experienced DevOps engineer makes 174,000 pounds respectively. Whereas a beginner cloud architect makes about 138,000 pounds. Intermediate cloud architect makes about 166,000 pounds and an experienced cloud architect makes about 174,000 pounds respectively. And finally, as we can see, a beginner network engineer makes about 62,000 pounds, whereas the intermediate network engineer makes about 73,000 pounds. And finally, an experienced network engineer makes about 80,000 pounds respectively annually. Thank you for watching. Did this video inspire you to advance your career in cloud services? then let our industry mentors guide you on your journey to becoming a cloud service professional. The Knowledge Academy is the world's largest training provider for courses such as Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ900, Microsoft Azure Administrator MAZ103, and many more. Visit our website to get details about our courses. Get in touch with our consultants. Inquire now.